Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be discussing about the hooks joint and in this tutorial I'll be telling you what it is all about and uh, its applications and how you can model this and create its animation using the animation command in the motion study tab. So first of all let's take a look at the model. So here you have one shaft that is coming. This is basically the input shaft and from here you have the output shaft. Now since in a hook joint the best thing is that the, all these components are able to rotate so it basically allows a very good flexibility in transmitting power and therefore it has a very good application in the rear wheel drive car so there what we have is that there is a shaft that is being driven up by the engine that is connected to the open differential so there are two hooks joint that are being employed at both the ends that is the engine and the driven shaft and secondly the driven shaft and the open differential so now let's just take a look at how we're going to make this and create this assembly so first of all let's all view the axis and make this component hidden so as you can see this cylindrical part its axis has to be made coincident using the coincident mate option with the hollow region of this fork which i'll just show you in a moment that is this one and you can replicate the same process for this part as well the second fork and this shaft and after doing this you will get this entire assembly so now let's take a look at the animation so first of all enable animation here and now what we're what we gonna do is that okay just let me create a new motion study first uh, so here what we're going to do is suppose say we want to make a 10 second animation so drag this to 10 seconds and suppose say at this instant you want this to twist like this so just do it and therefore this particular diamond shape gets updated and therefore shows this instant of this fork as you can see it from here now let's say I want to twist this as well so again it gets updated and now let's also twist this fork as well so there we go uh, this animation is kind of created and therefore what you can just do is click on calculate motion and therefore this kind of animation gets created and also what you can if you want to update this you can just kind of select any instant in between and kind of provide a kind of twist whichever component you wish to so so yeah, I want to twist this part so as you can see it automatically gets updated and click on calculate motion again So that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like. I'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead. Thanks.